thank you for the command staff of the Dallas Police Department. We pray, Lord, that you will bless every officer, men and women in our city. Be with them all the time. We pray, Lord, that you will bless our city, the city of Dallas. And God bless America. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And then we proceed with Mr. Colbert James. Dallas Police Chief, New Renee Hall. And members of her command staff. Our Mayor and Honorable Mike Rollins. And I would also like to recognize members of the Dallas City Council. Mayor Pro Tem, Dwayne Carraway. Deputy Mayor Pro Tem, Adam Madrano. And the following Dallas City Council members. Scott Briggs. Casey Thomas. Ricky G. Callahan. Omar Navarre, Kevin Felder, Janelle Evans, Mark Clayton, Adam Magoo, Lee Kleinman, Sandy Grayson, Jennifer S. Gates, and Philip T. Our city manager, Mr. T.C. Brodnex, and members of his staff and all other elected officials. I would also like to welcome the officers for representing other law enforcement agencies that have joined us here today. Thank you for coming. This police memorial bears the names and badge numbers of the Dallas police officers who have died in the line of duty and was dedicated on April 11th, 2001. This year marks the 17th anniversary of the dedication of this memorial. To commemorate this, there is a plaque located on the northwest corner of the memorial site. The inscription on that plaque reflects the feelings and meaning of why this memorial exists today. The memorial plaque reads, dedicated with gratitude to the men and women of the Dallas Police Department who have sacrificed their lives in the line of duty. With this memorial, we preserve and honor their memory and the sacrifices of the families who gave, have given our city such heroes. We also honor all other officers of the department on duty yesterday, today, and tomorrow for their service in protecting the citizens of Dallas. This memorial is a permanent visual reminder of the dangers inherent to a police officer's duties. Each year, as our memorial day ceremony closes, a prayer is said asking that no new names be added to the memorial. Since last year's police memorial, the Dallas Police Department sadly had to add one new name to the memorial due to the tragedy that occurred on April 24, 2018, in our city. In the year of 2017, 135 officers died in the line of duty nationwide. I ask at this time we have a brief moment of silence to honor the passing of these 135 officers who have fallen just in the last year in the line of duty. Thank you. In 1962, President John F. Kennedy signed into law National Police Week in recognition of the dedication and ultimate sacrifice made by our nation's law enforcement officers. This week is an opportunity for officers, citizens, and the entire nation to remember the contributions and sacrifice of our fellow officers and to pay tribute to them. As we take time this week to honor police officers who serve close to home, let us also keep in mind those who are serving in harm's way in our armed forces throughout the world. At this time, I would like to introduce Mayor Mike Rawlings for the reading of the proclamation, which will then be presented to our next speaker, Dallas Police Chief Mayor Hall. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, 
Good afternoon. Throughout this week, elected leaders like myself are participating in somber tributes to our fallen police officers. We come before you as a representatives of the citizen who are your friends and loved ones so bravely served. Thank you. For more than 50 years, the nation has paid respects during this week to police officers who paid the ultimate sacrifice to maintain a civil society. On this day, during this week, there is no shortage of support expressed for our sworn men and women. But I come before you humbly today to admit that we, the citizens, must do more to show our love, our appreciation, our respect for those who have fallen in the line of duty, and for those who carry on day after day in what is the most difficult climate for police officers that we've seen in at least a generation. We owe it to those who have fallen and to their survivors to do more all year to pay our respects and show not just in words, but in actions, that we are always there for you. We pray every year that we'll all come together and not have to add a new name. Today, we are very much still reeling from the shock of that awful day on July 7, 2016, when we lost four police officers and a dark police officer. That day, and Michael, Michael, Patricio, Lauren, we'll never forget. And our hearts are once again broken. And we salve fresh wounds over the recent loss of Rogelio Santander. Like those who fell before them, they epitomize so much of what is great about the Dallas Police Department and the city of Dallas. It is my privilege to present this proclamation to Chief Rene Hall. Chief, the United States Congress has designated the week of May 15th as National Police Week, and May 15th of each year is Police Memorial Day. And whereas the men and women of the Dallas Police Department make up one of the most respected, powerful, influential forces in the city and in the country, and whereas the Dallas Police Department is dedicated to serving the city of Dallas and its officers are constantly working to change neighborhoods across our city. And whereas the Dallas Police Department is made up of a group of passionate professionals who take pride in their work and strive to build strong and lasting relationships with the Dallas community by preserving the lives and properties of its residents. And whereas our city officers are heroes who risk their lives to keep our families and neighborhoods safe by putting their lives on the line, often making the ultimate sacrifice. Whereas we are honored to take part in this celebration, honoring our Dallas officers and demonstrate our sincere appreciation to the men and women who make our city a safer place to live and raise our families. Whereas on Wednesday, May 16, 2018, the City of Dallas will conduct a ceremony at Dallas City Hall to honor the fallen Dallas police officers who have sacrificed their lives in the line of duty and flags will be flown at half mass at all city installations. Now therefore, I, Michael S. Rawlings, Mayor of the City of Dallas, and on behalf of the Dallas City Council, do hereby proclaim the week of May 13, 19, 2018 as National Police Week and Wednesday, May 16, 2018, as Police Memorial Day in Dallas, Texas, and we extend our sincere gratitude for our officer's service and remember and mourn those who are killed in the line of duty. God bless you, Chief. Today to remember and honor the memories of our fallen officers, those who laid down their lives 
for the community they swore to protect and serve. And as we stand before this memorial wall to pay homage to our heroes, we are reminded that this is more than a landmark that reflects the names of 85 souls edged in steel. It is a reminder of a solemn demonstration of love to our city that the men and women of this great police department put their lives on the line each and every day to protect this community. This past Monday, we added another name to our wall of heroes, Officer Rogelio Santander. Officer Santander ended his watch on April 25th, 2018, after attempting to bring a criminal to justice. Officer Santander answered his public safety call for duty on December 3rd, 2014, and served with distinction and honor. For that, we honor his service to our city on this day. To the Santander family and all families and loved ones of our fallen heroes, we recognize and salute you for your contribution. There are no adequate words to bring comfort or understanding to your hearts and to your minds. But I ask that you just look around. Know that you are surrounded by your new family, the Dallas Police Department. We are here to embrace you, to support you, to encourage you, and to walk with you through the difficult times. Know that we love you, we honor you, and we will always be here for you. We pray that the Lord continues to heal the pain of your loss and that he will forever provide strength and encouragement. Our heroes made the ultimate sacrifice, and we will always cherish their memories in our hearts and in our minds, as they are gallant champions of public safety. While we can never repay our debt to our fallen officers, their bravery, dedication, and sacrifice must not be in vain. We must continue to champion the cause, continue to serve with the same spirit of excellence, continue to answer the call, and let our fallen officers know that we've got it, that we've got it now, and we will take it from here. We read in scripture that greater love has no man than this, that he lay down his life for his friend. So let us remember these words today and always. And in deepest gratitude, let us be secure in the knowledge that our dear friends rest in peace in a place of honor. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God bless the city of Dallas and the Dallas Police Department. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the heroes of the Dallas Police Department. C. O. Brewer, May 24, 1892. William H. Rydell, June 17, 1892. William McDuff, December 25, 1896. Leslie N. Patrick, June 13, 1901. A. Tedford, July 28, 1912. W. Roy Thornton, January 12, 1916. Leroy Wood, February 7, 1922. Johnny C. Hoot Gibson, April 19, 1923. John R. Crane, May 24, 1923. Dexter Clayton Phillips, August 11, 1923. Charles S. Swinney, June 21, 1925. Charles Marshall Disco, February 4, 1926. 
Alex W. Tedford, December 26, 1927. Sam Griffin Landford, June 29, 1933. Jesse Emmett Griffin, December 28, 1933. Luke J. Bell, May 18, 1934. Ernest E. Leonard Jr., May 28, 1935. John W. Deacon, August 10, 1935. John R. Roberts, December 23, 1935. Ralph Wendell Hoyt, February 20, 1937. Victor Leon Morris, September 15, 1941. Ernest Elmer Bakes, Jr., December 5, 1942. Preston D. Hill, February 12, 1947. William Edward Stanford, September 5, 1948. Johnny W. Sides, February 7, 1951. Leonard C. Molinax, February 10, 1962. Ray Allen Underwood, August 27, 1963. J. D. Tippett, November 22, 1963. Francis Weldon Bennett, September 5, 1964. James Douglas Stewart, November 12, 1967. Floyd A. Knight, December 8, 1968. Robert H. Ship, January 13, 1970. Johnny T. Hartwell, November 10, 1971. Alan Harry Camp, March 25, 1972. Carl Jackson Cook, May 2nd, 1972. Howard Kenton Hicks, June 23rd, 1972. Joe C. Jones, July 29th, 1972. Levi Weir Jr., August 17th, 1972. Milton E. Watley. October 7th, 1973. Donald P. Tucker, Sr., December 13th, 1973. Leslie G. Lane, Jr., March 2nd, 1974. Alvin Dwayne Alum, August 21st, 1975. Alvin E. Moore, November 13th, 1976. Robert W. Wood, November 28, 1976. John T. McCarthy, February 25, 1981. Charles J. Chip Maltese, Jr., July 31, 1981. Johnny R. Pasco, January 16, 1983. Paul J. Norris, March 2nd, 1983. Ronald D. Baker, March 2nd, 1983. Robert L. Formier, July 24th, 1984. James C. Taylor, July 24th, 1984. Thomas Lee Harris. July 20th, 1985. Gary Reeves Blair, March 20th, 1986. James Allen Joe, January 14th, 1988. John Glenn Chase, January 23rd, 1988. Gary Don McCarthy, February 26th, 1988. Walter Leon Williams, August 2nd, 
1988. Lawrence, or Kadena Sr., December 13th, 1988. Lisa L. Sandel, January 13th, 1989. Mark L. Fleming, January 14th, 1989. Michael R. Ogilvy, May 6th, 1990. Thomas G. Birchfield, May 6th, 1990. Sunny Ma Love, November 4th, 1990. Lawrence David Rowley, December 11, 1991. Harold Lee Hammonds, January 22, 1992. Billy W. Doherty, August 14, 1992. John Paul Jones, Jr., September 3, 1992. Richard A. Lawrence, November 9, 1993. David R. Galvan, December 14, 1993. Thomas D. Vaughn, December 13, 1994. Henry Allen Brown, April 25, 1997. Harold F. Bear Jr., August 19, 2000. Donald F. Fouché, March 17, 2001. Christopher Kevin James, November 25, 2001. Patrick Lee Messler, October 23, 2002. Brian Howard Jackson, November 13, 2005. Mark Timothy Nicks, March 23, 2007. Victor A. Lozada, Sr., February 22, 2008. Norman S. Smith, January 6, 2001. Kevin P. Marceau, January 14, Michael L. Crow, July 7, 2016. Patricio E. Samaripa, July 7, 2016. Michael J. Smith, July 7, 2016. Lauren B. Ernst, July 8, 2016. Rogelio Santander Jr., April Officer Rodriguez, prepare the officers for the 21-gun salute.
212 Griffin Street East. This concludes our ceremony. I would like to close with a special word to the family members. Please know that as you grieve, we grieve with you. As you remember, we remember with you. The lives and service of your loved ones made a positive difference. They shared a personal and professional commitment to making our community safer and their sacrifices will never be forgotten. My prayer again and the prayer I ask each of you to remember is that when we meet at next year's ceremony that no new names will be added to the roll call of honor. God bless you all. Senior Corporal Alexander, please dismiss the